Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about something cool. The Asus Vivo RT Windows RT Tablet. Now I got this a few months ago, but I haven't reviewed it yet because I've bought so many things and they're cool for about a week and then they start running laggy. So I'm just going to show this off for you. First off, this thing is pretty simple, but the build quality is amazing. I mean, I wouldn't drop it like anything, but this might be able to survive a few drops because it has Gorilla Glass, I think, and it's got connectors everywhere so it's like a laptop it's got an HDMI connector for video out micro SD and a switch to remove it from the keyboard this came with a keyboard for free by the way I don't know if they still do but whatever got a lens right here to take pictures with and it's got USB audio switch and of course the headphone jack and on here it's got a dock connector and a USB port and on the bottom there's a dock connector, but it actually has an adapter so you can use USB stuff with the dock, which is pretty cool. But with the dock, this thing is badass. I mean, $400, netbook sized, but it's lighter than a netbook, gets 16 hours of battery life, 8 from here, 8 from the dock, which has a battery built in. And it runs Windows RT, which is basically really similar to Windows 8, but it's actually pretty much with only a few desktop apps, sadly. But then again, they did this to try to get people to use Metro, and then again, this isn't competing with Windows, this, or Mac OS, or Linux. This is trying to compete with iOS. So basically, this is trying to compete with a cell phone. And compared to most tablets which are glorified cell phones, this thing destroys it in power. I mean, look, can you do this on, on, on iOS? This is something you can do on, on this tablet. It's really cool. You can go into CMD, Windows RT, and there are a ton of apps for it. Not too many, but then again, most apps are something you could just open up a web browser for. And did I mention the scene has desktop level web browsing so you can just open up Internet Explorer? And there's this emulator, SNES 8X, which isn't the best one sadly, but basically this emulator is the best one you've... It's pretty much uh, a Super Nintendo emulator for, well, your tablet pretty much. It's, it's a Super Nintendo emulator for your tablet, and it's pretty much lets you play games on your tablet. I mean, seriously. This lets you play... There's actually emulators on the marketplace, unlike with Android and iOS. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering a little bit because I'm playing this game. It's Shin Megami Tensei. It's an amazing Super Nintendo game. Get a translation of it. It's really worth the time. It's awesome. Now I'm going to show you some other stuff. I've got DOSBox right here. It actually runs stuff. I actually got stuff running in it earlier. It will run games. Maybe not the best, newest ones like Doom and stuff. But it will run many older games and some demos. And I've got Doom right here. Because that's literally on everything. I mean, what isn't Doom on? It's a fun game, even though it's not aged too well. It's still, it's been modded to death, and there are some pretty cool mods available for this game. But yeah, this is something you can run on a tablet. Doom. It runs on anything too, and 7-Zip runs on here if you, if you jailbreak it, because I've jailbroke this, and this lets you run any desktop app you can't normally run. But, as for desktop apps, it comes with all the basics, except for Windows Movie Player for some, Media Player for some dumb reason, but there are Media Player apps for this, and you can draw on here if you have, like, one of those touch pens. Works really well on the display of it, because this display is really nice. I mean, when you have it in desktop mode, it works even better with one of these. And even though it's not really a true touch pen like one of those Wacom digitizers like on the PC tablets, it works pretty good. And you can do other stuff too, like such as um, 
let me open up Notepad. I'm gonna open up Notepad, and here's what you can do. You can actually print this to printers. You can set a printer up, and you can print to stuff. So, I can't really show it now, but because my printer's all the way downstairs, it's a laser jet. But if you have like a newer laser jet, or even most laser jets, it, except for like the real ancient ones, you can just hit print and it'll just shoot it out because it's got print drivers for many, many printers, such as PCL6, um, Postscript, the normal, and it's got drivers for many newer printers for Windows RT, so if you want to print something out, you can just hit print, kaboom. This thing will actually print with no apps needed. That's the cool part about this thing. You don't need apps to do a lot of stuff, and it's got a good web browser too. Full Internet Explorer, the same one you use on your desktop, and I can even browse my favorite websites. Furfinity, that shit loads instantly because this thing is a fast tablet. And did I mention, I think I mentioned it, but this thing acts as two batteries. One battery in the keyboard, one in the tablet, and due to that you can go a really long ass time on this thing. I've gone all day with this thing. This is like one of the laptops where you can go mostly all day. And they advertise 16 hours. I've, I, haven't, I haven't gotten that much because I haven't even used it that much. I've put it on the charger before then. That's how long this battery is. Especially with the two, you'll get life so long, you won't even think of charging it. And I can get on Steam, IMO, all those instant messaging sites to chat, use AIM, Skype, Steam. Yes, AIM is still better than Skype because it doesn't take 15 minutes to send a message. But anyways, this thing is awesome. It's literally like my laptop, but... It's so lightweight, you can literally fit it in an envelope. You know, like those old Apple ads where they like fit in an envelope? This thing only costs $400 and I can fit it in an envelope. Not like big money like those Ultrabooks and Airs cost. So yeah. All in all, goodbye. I recommend people to get this thing. It's really cool and Windows 8 isn't even that bad. You just have to hit start and learn how to type stuff because it really takes like one second to type. You just hit start. Kaboom. You've gotten to your app. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and please get one of these or a similar RT tablet. They're really good, they're underrated, and why carry around an iPad where you can carry around a desktop web browser? You can even browse Hulu on this. You can go to desktop Hulu, you can go to uh, Crunchyroll, you can go to at watch anime free sites because this thing has Flash, which iOS doesn't have and desktop flash too. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and yeah. Get this thing, it's really fast. And it's quad core too, I mean this is a quad core Tegra 3, it might not be the highest end, but with Windows 8, it's cool because Windows 8 is awesome and anything's fast on Windows 8. And thanks for watching, subscribe for more.